It's never been easier to get a developer job and in today's video I'm gonna prove it to you. So if you're a junior developer looking to break into tech, you might be thinking that the market is saturated. You've been reading the comments on different YouTube videos, you've been reading the Reddit posts and you are wondering and you are scared and you are like, is it even worth it? And in this video, I'm going to show you that it's worth it. It's 100% possible. You just have to take a different strategy than what most people do. It's not going to require much work compared to what the average person does. But we don't want to be average, right? We don't want to be scraping for peanuts. We don't want to eat dirt, you know, for breakfast and for dinner and for lunch. We want to be different and we want to think differently so we can have a different outcome. So let's get into it. All right, so what I have here is Product Hunt. So Product Hunt is a website, an application where um, people, you know, post their side projects with the hope that they will become a unicorn, right? So you have to do this, okay? The first step is to find an app that you like or find an industry that you like. So for example, I'm just gonna take a random one, like for example, Work Sensei. So Work Sensei is an app that allows you to track your time, to manage your work, and so on and so forth. Well, this is nothing new. There are so many other apps that are doing exactly the same thing. The point of this is to find something that already exists and try to make it better, or like try to make it slightly different. It's as simple as that. You can choose any other app that you see here. Feel free to explore, don't jump into it go and check out 20, 30 applications and see what you like about them, what you don't like, what's gonna make you interested in this, yeah? That's the first thing, finding an idea, which is the most difficult part, that's what most people think, but it's not. You just need to find one idea and then stick with it. But now let's say you picked uh, Work Sensei and this is the landing page. Well, as you can see, there is a lot of work that has to be done here. Still bullshit, I would say this is junior developer level or that's what you might think. But even if you make Work Sensei from scratch and you just fix the landing page, you already have a better product than Work Sensei because users will see this landing page, they will say, oh, it's crap, we are not gonna pay for it, we are not gonna download this product, and so on and so forth, right? So if you just fix the way it looks, aka centering these elements and whatnot, you already have a better product than Work Sensei. It's crazy how it works, right? If you really think about it. Again, if we compare it with the average junior developer, so this versus this, still bullshit, but this is still better than this, okay? So I slightly roasted someone without having to do that. It was an unnecessary roast. I apologize for that, but anyway, let's keep going. Now let's say you picked Work Sensei. This is the app that you want to make. You want to make something similar to this and so on and so forth. The next step after this is to open a Google Doc or a Notion document and whatnot and type in the stuff that you want to add. Okay, so what juniors do is create login, create sign up, create team change. This is bullshit you are focusing on the wrong things. This is not important. This is not making the product. It's like saying the most important of your lunch is the salt. It's not the salt, it's the meat and the potatoes, right? So focus on the meat and the potatoes. So in order to figure out the meat and the potatoes, you need to download the app and break it down into pieces. So for example, you can write something like this. As a user, I want to start an activity with a keyboard shortcut. Because you saw that in Work Sensei you can do that. For example, I haven't tried it, but this is something that I would do. Or let's say as a user, I want to track automatically what websites spending my time on. Again, I'm just making up stuff just for you to see how this works because you don't need to know this when you start a project, right? But you need to have some ideas because if you want to be a problem solver, you need a problem to solve. If you have no problem to solve, then you won't be a problem solver. You'll just be, I don't want to say wanker, but that's what you're going to be. You're going to be complaining on the internet. Oh, it's hard to get a job. It's the easiest time to get 
a job in tech. You can do it so easily. You wrote, let's say, 50 things that you want to uh, add to this application. So why 50? Because you won't be able to add all of them, but if you have three, then you will have no purpose to live for. You'll have no purpose to build your application, right? So spend some time, think, okay, think, okay, stop complaining about the difficulty of getting a job in tech. Start thinking, the first 10 will be easy, but the next 40 will be very difficult and your brain is gonna tell you, oh, this is not gonna work. So if you listen to your brain, go and do something else. Go and do, I don't know, flip burgers and McDonald's. I'm harsh with you because I'm so tired of people complaining and not doing anything about this stuff. As you can see, I'm very passionate about uh, solving this problem for you, for my clients, for, for like the people that will come and see this video. So start thinking, figure out, okay, what do you want to do? Then once you figured out what you want to do, you're going to create an account on Trello, trello.com. I'm not going to show you how to do that. You can figure it out. Then you'll be making a board, okay? Send, say, let's create this board together. And then you'll have this ideas, let's say, to do in progress, done. Once you finished, writing down your ideas, you'll start figuring out which one is the easiest one to tackle right now, okay? So let's say you'll start set up the landing page, okay? Let's say another thing could be make the first page, okay? Maybe just the row, setting them up in Next.js or whatever. Setting up login, <laughs> your favorite feature and so on and so forth. So you're gonna dump down your ideas and then let's say you are gonna go and you'll start preparing two tasks for this week, okay? So you have to set up the login and the first page, okay? Which is gonna be what happens after people log in. Well, you can now work on the first page. Then you can break this page down into multiple things. So if we look at Work Sensei, this landing page sucks so much ass, but let's find a new one okay let's let's find something else i found this 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 other application called integra so this would be like the first page let's assume that okay so what do we see here we see a sidebar then we see this thingy here that shows us a table okay blah 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 so then you break down this into multiple pieces right like for example make the sidebar make the table make the nav bar, okay? You are going to make that and then you're gonna be like, okay, now let me work properly on the sidebar. So you'll be like, okay, you've done this, you've done this, this, and this. And now you're like, okay, you'll type in something like sidebar, search. So now this would be like a, a task for the backend and then on the front end, right? So maybe you can figure out how to integrate the two, etc., etc. I don't want to do this for you because it's going to be a very individual process and you have to think, okay? But I'm just giving you the idea so you can start doing it by yourself, so you can stop complaining. Your apps need to be looking good, right? They have to look good. Otherwise, if you come with this bullshit and say coding is dead, I'll unplug your TV as you're playing your favorite game on Xbox. Coding is dead. Coding is dead, bro. Coding is so dead. It's, it's so dead. Buy a landing page, okay? It's 100 bucks. You have 100 bucks. It's gonna be the best investment of your life. Or don't buy it and be broke forever make multiple accounts and stop and uh, start commenting on youtube coding is dead coding is dead in very fact people's code is dead you're gonna find one let's say vanta this looks pretty cool pretty much it gives you everything it's drag and drop you just need to make the data pro proper data and proper structure and proper thinking <laughs> then you just apply this and you make it cool and even if you just make the landing page it's gonna work better than this Let's wake up. Let's take some responsibility for once. And once you build this, and let's say you are stuck with something, if you have the right skills, then you can use ChatGPT to solve all your problems. Stop complaining 
and start taking some action for once, okay? If you cannot build this yet, and I understand that because even if you use ChatGPT, you'll be limited by how you can use it because you don't have the skills yet. So you need to acquire the skills first. Once you are ready to apply this, then you can start building something like this. Before that, don't even touch this stuff because you'll be overwhelmed by the amount of work that you need to do. That's what you have to do because it's literally the easiest time to get a job in tech. So if you wanna get the skills and you wanna be part of my coaching program where I show you exactly how to do this, I've done already this stuff for you. You don't have to think about it anymore. Uh, go to the first link in the description and apply for a free consultation call. And you can also check out our community. You can check out you know, what people are doing. You can check out, for example, the live calls and you can see what we are talking about in the live calls we are doing interview prep all this good stuff stuff that you don't have and stuff that you actually need and you have a few free courses as well so the html and css fundamentals you'll be building the apple website in just a week okay if you put the time into it then you also have the JavaScript for beginners course, not the entire course but at least you'll get an idea about how this works. I remember when I was in your shoes in 2016, 2017, Jesus, this was tough. Now you just have to put your thinking hat on for a couple of months, build something cool and that's it. You have with me an amazing community, a great mentor, me, the right projects, the right resources. You won't be overwhelmed anymore. So if you are someone that wants to do this properly without wasting your time, then I will suggest you to become a client apply for a free consultation call link in the description see you